Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. We got a fun one for you today. We got a regular Divi menu up here. If I hover over it, it's going to turn blue and the writing's going to turn white. Same with these other ones here. And if you're using a drop down, it'll work just as well for that also. Really easy to do. So let's get started. Let's undo everything that I've got going here and we'll start from scratch. I'm using the default Divi menu to do this today. Let me just undo this. Okay, I've got it back to how it is initially now. I'm using Google Chrome here with a great inspector tool. So I'm going to right click on one of these and hit inspect. That's going to bring up our inspector tools down here. If you've got elements selected on one side, you'll have HTML. If you've got styles selected the other side, you'll have CSS. So it's highlighted a link for us here. And as you can see, when I hover over, it turns it blue up here and shows you the padding that's underneath it at the top there also. If we look over here, we've got a CSS ID of top menu, list item, anchor tag. That's what we're going to affect today. Okay, well, let's make it the color and shape and background that we want it initially. So I'm just left click which will drop down. We can open a new tab. Let's give it a background color first thing. I'll just use a, use a generic blue. So I'm going to say background, colon, whatever color you want. I'm going to change this color in a minute. I'm just using for it for an example. As you can see at the top now, we've actually made it blue here. But it's not the shape I want it. There's way too much padding on the bottom. I want a little bit of padding around each side of this. So let's add some padding and make it the way we want it. Now, because we've got some padding on the bottom there, we're going to have to overwrite some styles. If I left click again, we'll drop down one more. I'm going to say padding, P-A-D-D-I-N-G, colon. Let's say five pixels top and bottom. And maybe 15 pixels left and right. Obviously adjust to taste. As you can see, that's given it a little bit of space around there, which is great but we still got this padding on the bottom. So if I was to add important after this, it may get rid of that for us. Don't like to use important, but sometimes you have to. It's exclamation mark and the word important. Great, that's done it there. Now the shape we want it, but we've got this line here. And the reason that we've got this line here is because we've taken away that 33 pixels padding that was on there generically on the bottom. I think if I roll up here, yeah, it actually tells us here it did have that padding 33 pixels on the bottom. Because we used important, it's wiped that out. So we really need to replace that with a bit of margin. Push that line down. Now I've added 5 pixels padding to the bottom. So 33 minus 5 would be 28 pixels. So we can add that with margin on the bottom. So we'll say margin, M-A-R-G-I-N, dash bottom. Let's say 28 pixels. It should be exactly back where it was. That little line should disappear. Perfect. Now I can't really see that color very well. Why well, I say I can't see the color. I can't see the actual link very well because it's dark there. I would like to have that light in color. So I'm going to add another line. I'm just going to say color. C-O-L-O-R. White, which in hex is hashtag F-F-F. It's actually six F's, but... CSS3, you only need to put a three in there. Great. I also just want to round off those corners a little bit and take a bit of the padding away because for me, they're just a little bit too far apart. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. So let's give it slightly rounded corners. I can do that by dropping down one more and we'll give it a border radius. B-O-R-D-E-R -E dash radius, R-A-D-I-U-S. Colon, let's say about eight pixels. I think that's what I used before. And we got those nice rounded corners. Fantastic. But I don't really want this on the regular view. I only want to see this when we hover over it. So now we've got the basics down. Let's copy all of this from this closing bracket at the bottom here. Make sure you get that closing bracket all the way up to the first hashtag of top menu list item A. As we've written this in the browser, once I refresh, it'll go back to how it was. It's not going to save it. We need to write this into the theme to make it happen. I'll just demonstrate that. If I refresh this page now, it's going to go back to how it was. 
So let's write it. To do that, we need to go down to your dashboard, down Divi, down the theme options. That's going to take you to the general tab on the theme options page right at the bottom. We've got a custom CSS panel. You can also put this in the additional CSS panel in the customizer if you want to. So anything that's in there, let's just scoot it down a couple. I'm just hitting my return. And we'll paste that code that we just copied from our browser in here. There it is right there. Always a good idea to give your code a title. So let's say forward slash star star forward slash. Anything you write in between the stars will not be read as code. Great place for titles and notes and things. Let's just say top menu item. Wait, if I save this now, wait till you get that check mark. Go back here. I refresh this again. We've got our little colored overlays there. Okay, things we need to address. Well, like I say, I don't want to see this unless it's hovering on it. That little chevron there, I'd probably like to get rid of that. And I'd like to tighten these up a bit. So if we just go up from the thing we highlighted before, which was our home, top menu list item here, we got some padding right of 22 picks. If I take that down to zero, I just left clicked on it to highlight there. That puts them a lot closer together. Now, if that's too close, you can increment up, maybe give it five pixels, five PX. Whatever works for you. I think that's going to be okay. So let's copy this again for that last closing bracket. Again, to that hashtag of top menu list item. Control C to copy. Go back to our theme options. I'm going to drop down a couple. I'm going to paste it in there. Now, anything that we didn't write, we don't need in there. So I can select the inline block and the font size 14 picks. And we can just delete those. Great. Now, to fix this so it only happens when we hover over it, pretty easy. If we go back in here, let's take all of this. Remember, we only want the things that we wrote, so I don't need that font weight normal, font style, text transform, text decoration. Background we did put in, everything below there we put in. So let's delete all of that. We don't need the ET search form container either, but it's put in there. So from that comma there, I'm going to get rid of that, unless you want it to affect that. I'm going to delete it. So we've got ID of top menu, list item A, and then our first curly bracket there. Perfect. I'm going to copy all of this from that last closing bracket to that hashtag again. Control C to copy. I'm going to drop down and paste it in below. Now, to create the actual hover effect, I'm going to go into this second one below. I'm going to put a colon right after the A there. No gap and the word hover, H-O-V-E-R. Great. Well, that's what I want, background blue on hover. Padding can stay the same, so I need to get rid of that one. Margin bottom, we're not going to change that on hover. The color and the border radius. Well, the color we're not going to change, so let's do that. And the border radius. That's fine. So we're changing the color and the background right there. So I can take those away from our one above here. So I don't need the background blue. Do need all the padding. Do need the margin. Don't need that color there. I want it to be the default color. And the border radius will leave in there as well. Because there's no background unless we hover on it. You won't really notice that until we hover over it. Great. Well, let's just save that and see what we've got. Little green check mark. Perfect. Let's get rid of our inspector here for a moment and we'll refresh this. Great. Well, there's our regular menu back when I hover over. That blue's coming in. Perfect. And it's working for our subbies, as you can see. Now I'm going to change that blue for perhaps the default blue that we've got going on here. And I happen to know that's 2EA3F2. So let's just do that in our code. I'm going to lose that chevron. I really don't want that little chevron up there. If I right click and inspect on that now. It's not showing it here, but if we're on the link. If I hit the little arrow just to the left of it there, we've got an after pseudo element there. And that's it right there. So that's going to be the top menu, list item A, 
colon, it's going to be the after there. So we can just say display none to get rid of that. We've already got most of that code in there, which was top menu, list item A. I'm going to copy that bit. I'm going to drop down from our last entry here, paste that in there. I'm going to put a colon again without a gap. I'm going to say after AFTER to target that pseudo element. I'm going to open and close some curly brackets. I'm just going to write display colon none. Great. We're going to save our changes again. We should be almost there. Let's just change that color out while I'm here. I said blue initially. Let's make it the same default color. And you can change this to any hex color, web color, RGBA color that you want there. I have to know the one I want is hashtag 2EA. 3F2. Again, we'll say till we get the check mark. Perfect. Back here. Let's get rid of our inspector this time. Refresh. Great. We lost that little chevron. Like I say, we're still a little bit far apart, maybe. But that's working. Apart from that, if you want to adjust the distance again. We'll just highlight one of these one more time. See if our code's actually working. We may need to add the important to it. Click on the list item this time. It looks like it's actually working. We could take it down to zero. Now I'll close them up a little bit. Yeah, I think that's going to work for me. So we just need to adjust that in the code and we should be good to go. Save our changes. So I'm going to take that down from five picks to just a zero. With zero, you don't need to put the PX in. Save our changes. Pop over here. Refresh. And we should be good to go. A rollover. Yep, they're a little bit tighter there. Perfect. We got rid of that chevron. This is going to work down for the drop downs. Fine. And we got our little contact right there. Now, the only other thing that I can see there is that blue is a little lighter than this blue, which makes me think the opacity is down a little bit on the hover effect color there. So let's make sure it's the full blue by going back into here. Here's our background color. Let's make sure the opacity is at one, which is fully visible. Opacity, colon one. I'm going to put it important too, because we're overriding a star. So I'm going to say exclamation mark important. Fantastic. We'll save that. We'll check this out now. We should have a fuller blue now. That's more like it. That's exactly the blue that I was looking for there. Same with our drop downs here. It's the same as that color above. Perfect. So there we have it, guys. There's how to add a nice little hover effect to your Divi menu items. Really easy to do, as you can see. I'll put all that code down below the video, as usual, for anybody that wants to copy and paste. Just change it to your taste. But it's a great idea to learn how to write your CSS. It's not difficult. I can do it, so anybody can do it. And it's a great way of upping your editing skills. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you. We'll make a little demo video just like this one. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.